The French president is on a three-day visit to China. Emmanuel Macron hopes to dissuade Beijing from supporting Russia's invasion of Ukraine while also forging closer ties with a crucial trade partner. Macron accompanied by the European Union chief, speaking before Macron's trip, an official from the French president's office said that he would look to stand firm on Ukraine during talks with Xi Jinping. The official added that Macron would offer another path from the directly confrontational tone often heard from Washington. The French leader aims to include persevering, pardon me, preserving and rebalancing China's trade ties with Europe. Macron is also seeking to safeguard French interests in the Asia-Pacific region. Paris sees itself as a player in the Asia-Pacific due to its overseas territories and military deployments. EU chief Ursula von der Leyen's presence is a clear sign that the trip will ripple beyond France across the entire 27-nation European Union. Now, China recently published a 12-point position paper that called for urgent peace talks and a political settlement to end the Russia-Ukraine conflict. In Moscow last month, Putin had and the Chinese president pledged friendship, but the talks yielded no breakthrough on Ukraine. In a speech last week, the EU chief cautioned Beijing against direct support for the war in Ukraine while ruling out the EU decoupling from China. At the same time, there are concerns that China could step off the sidelines and begin providing arms and ammunition to Moscow. Beijing insists that it has no plans to send weapons to Moscow. The White House said Macron discussed his China trip in support for Ukraine during a phone call with President Joe Biden on the eve of his visit. The two leaders reportedly said that they want China to accelerate the search for a solution to the war. Western allies also wish to build a common agenda on climate and biodiversity with China. Macron's China visit coincides with a flashpoint meeting between Taiwan President and the U.S. House Speaker. Beijing claims Taiwan as part of its territory. However, many Taiwanese people consider the self-ruled island to be a district whether or not independence is ever officially declared. On Friday, Macron will travel to Guangzhou to meet local students, taking with him a delegation of politicians, business leaders, even celebrities. In recent months, Xi Jinping has met with world leaders seeking to re-establish ties and settle disagreements. Analysts say Beijing's engagements are an attempt to counter Washington's improvements in ties with countries around the world. The Honours now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.